This video will demonstrate two methods for merging multiple images together into a single image using Photoshop. The first method uses Photo Merge, which can be accessed through the File menu, going down to Automate, and then selecting Photo Merge. You will see this window appear with several options for merging images together. Simply click on Reposition, make certain that Blend Images Together is selected, and then browse for your images. Select the six images that you saved from Google Earth, and then just simply click OK. And then, once those appear, click OK once again. Now this will begin to load in the six images. As you'll see on the right hand side, each of these images will become a layer in Photoshop. It's going to look for similarities in the overlap that you have in your images and begin blending them together. This will take a few minutes to take place depending on the speed of your computer. The six images have now been grouped into one larger image, and you can see the six separate layers here, and if we click on one of these, we can turn off a layer, and you can see how this has been blended together in order to create this one larger image. The first thing we'll do is go to the Crop tool, and simply click and select that, and that will allow us to begin to make a nice clean edge around this image and to take out the blank spaces where the overlap between the images that were captured from Google Earth weren't quite perfect. Double click and we now have our final clean image. We can come next to layers and there's a pull down menu that you can get in the top right corner which allows you to create a new layer, duplicate layers, a variety of different operations but we're just going to simply flatten this image so that it's now just a single layer. You now want to save this image so you can come to File, Save, or in this case Save As, give this the name Exercise 1, Plan, your last name, and hit Save. Make certain that you've selected JPEG file as the file type, and hit Save. You can just select this as a medium resolution image or image quality as 6, hit OK, and your file is now saved and we're ready to move on to the next step. We can also do this process of merging images manually. If we go into Photoshop, open up two adjacent images, and then take a look at one of these images. Let's look at our first image, which is the one that would be on the left-hand side. Go up to Image, and we can check out the image size. In this case, you can see that it's 18 inches wide at 72 dpi. So, what we can do now is come up to Image and set the canvas size to be double this width to make certain that both of these images will fit side by side against one another, even though there is overlap. So what we'll do is double click on our layer and hit OK, and you can see what that did was unlocked the image. And we can now use the zoom and zoom out on this, scroll across, and then select the Move tool. And if we hold down the Shift key and click Move, we can move this true horizontal over to the edge. Now what we're going to do is select our second image and come up to the Select menu, select All, and then under Edit we're going to copy this image, click on the tab for our first image, come to Edit, and hit Paste. So we now have this second image in place. We can hold down Shift and use the Move tool to drag this over, and you can see the overlap between these two images. 
So we're going to try and align this so that these two images fit together. However, what we want to do here to make this process simpler, first let's zoom in a little bit. And we're going to look at this first image, this layer one. And there's an option here for opacity where we can change the opacity so that we can see through the image down to the other image. Now we'll click back on the Move tool, and this allows us to move so that we can see these two images overlaying over each other, and we can continue to zoom in. And let's use the Hand tool to move to a location where there's something that we can really get a handle on. And that would be this crosswalk where we have these lines. We can now use the arrow keys to finally adjust this into a position where it appears to align rather perfectly. So let's zoom out to full scale. We can see these two images seem to fit pretty well together. However, you can see that there's a bit of a line here. So what we're going to do is hold down the Alt key, we can zoom out, and we're going to take the Marquee tool, and we'll actually just clip off about half of the overlapping image, which will include that line. Now we can come and set the opacity back to 100%. We'll zoom back a bit to see the entire image. And now we can crop this so that we only have the image and not any of the extra bits. Double click and we have our image. We're now going to go through the process of highlighting our site area, which is around MacMur Hall. And we're going to go to the Layer command and highlight this by using an Adjustment layer. Under Adjustment layer, we're going to come down to Hue, Saturation. And this is going to create a layer called Hue Saturation, which brings up these properties in this window on the side. Saturation is the amount of color which you can create very vibrant effect or if we decrease saturation all the way down to minus 100 we end up with a black and white image. We can also adjust the lightness making this image dark or we can brighten it up to give it a faded out effect. So we're going to go with this effect. Part of the hue saturation layer is a mask. And what we're going to do, let's zoom in on the area around MacMur Hall, and we're going to use the polygonal lasso tool to outline our site area, which goes from the student union across in front of the parking garage and creates this area. Now if we hit the delete key we're actually cutting a hole in this mask. Let's turn this layer off and you can see that we have our color. If we turn the mask back on you can see the effect with the hue and saturation levels adjusted.